boys. We're back again for another, we're going to make another holster today. I'm going to try for my first time, I'm going to make an inside the waistband holster. And I'm going to make it out of this, I don't even remember what color this is. Uh, I think this is a, one of the flat dark earths. I don't know which one exactly, but um, and we're going to use, this is a LC9. This is not the S. I've actually tried out the S. I really like it, but uh, this is just a regular old LC9. And uh, however, the, anything that you make for an LC9 will fit an LC9S. So this would work for that. So we're going to make a inside the waistband holster, as I said. And my plan, what I've got here, I've got everything taped up. And as I like to do, I use the pencil for my sight channel. And I just have this little block here, and this is where it's going to connect to my belt. No, it's not going to connect down all the way down here. It's actually going to, the loop's going to come up and then come down. And the idea is that I can still, you know, tuck a shirt in a little bit in behind that belt loop. So, well, we're going we're gonna to get to this, but I wanted to show you guys all, everything we got taped up here. So we've got the trigger area all filled in here, and we, we left a little bit so we can get some retention out of it. And I've got a block here for the magazine release and for the safety as well as the uh, slide release kind of blocked off here so that it should slide without any problems. Let's get this thing measured and see how much material we're gonna need here. And then we'll get to making this thing. All right, so first off what I'm gonna do, it is gonna sit like this because I am gonna strong side carry this inside the waistband so this is the way it's going to sit and what i want i want to have just a little bit of extra here so i'm going to actually give myself about an inch extra to play with and about an inch in every direction here so it looks to me like we're going to go probably about five inches as far as the depth goes and that gives us an extra inch and then this direction we are going to go We're gonna, looks like we're gonna go about to nine inches. So we're gonna do a five by nine piece. And just to be on the safe side, we're doing that five by nine, and that's an inch on either side, as well as an inch as far as lengthwise. And you know what? We're actually gonna just, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna give ourselves five and a quarter. I just wanna make sure that I have plenty of material here so we don't mess it up. All right. So if we slid just a little bit, it'll be okay. See, that's a, one of the good reasons to um, fudge your numbers a little bit on the bigger side. I just accidentally slipped and moved the straight edge a little bit, but not too much, so it'll be just fine. We're going to again just go a quarter inch extra just to be safe. I have found early on when I was doing this, I was trying to conserve material so much that I actually ended up wasting material. I know that sounds kind of strange, but I would, I would try to just get it so close to exactly what I needed that if I didn't line things up perfectly, it, it wouldn't work and I would I was wasting time and usually I would have to go back and I'd have to cut a bigger piece anyway. So I found that if I just, you know, fudge my numbers a little bit on the larger side, things are just a little bit better by doing that. All right. So now we just need to get this thing heated up and we're going to get it in the press. And again, because this is a wrap around style, I've got my little I don't know what you would call this, my split foam here that we're going to use. And if you guys have seen, if you guys watched the other video that I did with a taco style holster, uh, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to, we're going to lay this out like this, have the material in, and then we will 
press we'll press the gun down inside and these will fold all up around it and then we're going to put it inside the press to actually get it some good definition and wrap it around everything perfectly it's actually going to make us be more like that but okay so let me get this uh, in the oven and i will be back when it's ready to go and we will have it inside the press we're going to put it in the press here so the next time you see it that's where it's going to be going Okay. Oh crud. We gotta find <laughs> working with hot stuff here trying to figure out what I'm doing. Oops, sorry. All right, now we just need to leave this in there. Um, you know, the longer the better, really, but I would say at least five minutes that we need to leave that in there so we can get some good definition and we can see, you know, how everything's gonna work. And if it doesn't work out the first time, we can always put it back in the oven, get it heated up again, and it'll all leave flat and we can just start over. But I think we're gonna be okay because of that extra space that we built into it. All right, guys, so we're going to pop this thing out of here and see how it looks. And hopefully, we've got some good definition out of it. The loud cars driving by. Yeah, see, that's looking pretty good. Our sight channel has got an issue, but not too... Well, you know what? It doesn't, actually. It just kind of buckled up right there. So... We're going we're gonna to have to figure out some way to fix that, I, I guess. But for the most part, I think we came out pretty good. Um, I could have had a little more even, but it'll be fine because we're actually not going to go all the way down there. So I think it'll be just fine. Um, we're going to put our... As far as most of our retention goes, it's going to be right through here. We're going to put a couple of rivets in here, a couple of eyelets. And that's really where most of our retention is going to come from. This is all going to be open. And we're going we're gonna to come pretty high on all of this, especially on the back side, like as a sweat shield type. It's going to come pretty far, far up on there because we want to protect the, our, the, the gun's finish as well as our delicate skin, as you might say. So here's what we got. Um, we need to figure out what to do with this front end right here. But other than that, everything looks great. All right. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop this out of here. You can see what we ended up with. Pretty good definition out of it, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all the tape and everything off of this and we're gonna use it for when we're fitting everything to make sure everything still fits in there nicely. This is where we're gonna put our screws, our mounting screws, so we definitely have enough clearance there. It's not gonna touch the, uh, the handgun at all. And then, like I said, we're going to come straight up. And then we're going to come down into our belt loop. We might make like an S loop. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. But more of an S hook, I guess, not a loop. But anyway, we're going to see what we can do with this and make this work. All right. So here you can see, here's what we got. Pretty far tucked in there. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to take some out of here some off the height here and I wish I would have got it just a little bit lower and I could go back and redo this but I've taken all the tape off so um, I really don't want to re-block this all out so we're not going to I'm it's not that big of a deal it is the uh, side against against the skin is a lot better we just need to uh, take this sharp edge off so that it's not uh, irritating because if it's not comfortable I'm, you know, people just don't carry things that are uncomfortable. That's just the way it, way it works. So, <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to get in here and we need to uh, draw this out exactly how we're going to do this. We need to make sure we have enough 
material here to put a couple of rivets in because again this is where our retention is going to come from. Um, it doesn't have to be a lot of retention because we're going inside the waistband. In fact we don't want too much retention because it's going to be too hard to get this thing out when you have a belt wrapped around it you know pressing it against your skin. So we don't want to get too carried away on the retention but we need a little bit and it's going to be right down here. Probably one, maybe two rivets, eyelets, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to go with black today. You have these brown ones, but I think I'm going to go with the black ones. So here's where the creative part comes in because we are going to, we're going to draw out a design of how we want this thing to look as well as uh, kind of how it's going to function because we need that extra material on the back, the extra kydex to kind of keep a keep it off of our skin. All right, so we're going to follow the trigger guard pretty much. I'm going to kind of go a little bit past it because I'm going to actually kind of heat that up a little bit and mold it a little bit further around that trigger guard. So I'm not going to just touch right on the edge. I'm going to actually wrap it around a little bit. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit further even. Okay, so you can see, you know, I draw a little bit, I decide I don't like it, draw a little bit more, erase some lines, different things. It's okay. You know, it looks really messy when you're doing all this, but you can go back and you, you wash it off. If, if you have any problems, anything with the lead not coming off very easy, you know, those Mr. Clean sponge things, the Mr. Clean eraser things, they work fantastic. They clean it all off doesn't leave any marks really. They work really good on the edges too actually for making those polished up nice. All right so we have a rough cut done and uh, here's what we got. So here's what it looks like. I have this extra piece of, uh, I don't want it to be too wide but at the same time I want it to be nice and sturdy on my belt. So I think the width of this may be just a hair smaller than this and that would be perfect. It's going to ride under the belt, so for the most part you aren't going to see it. What you're going to see is just a little lip curl up under, under that belt and come, come from the bottom side and just a little lip of it just come up over right underneath. So that's really about all you're going to see. So I think this will make a nice, very good concealable holster. find slower going actually works better. Uh, getting crazy with the drill bit. Getting crazy with the drill just makes it fly all over the place and that's really not what we want. Alright, so we're going to get a rivet in here and I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to set it. I'm just going to put it in here, kind of have it lock it into place while we drill the second one because we don't want it to shift around but at the same time we need to clean it out. Most of the time when you're doing this you'll get a little bit of kydex curls up between the two pieces and you don't want that. So you need to clean it out in between drilling. And it's hard to do that if there's already rivets there. Just get it lined up there. Give it a nice snug push. Move on to the next one and do the same. And now we have it riveted on there. Slide that out of the way because we don't need to use it again for this one because we've got everything we need right there. And we ended up pretty good retention actually. Actually, very decent retention out of it. So, I mean, look at this, see? There, we started to get out of there. But this is going to be inside the waistband anyway, so really, I mean, that's really good retention for that. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to use this Dremel tool. This is what I like to use. If you've watched any of the other videos, you know that I like to use this with a little sanding wheel on there. A little sanding drum, I guess I should say. So we're going to clean all this up. 
get all these edges smoothed up. And I'm going to bevel this so the edges that are going to be against the skin, so this backside, all of these edges are going to be beveled and rounded off as much as possible. I want it to be sweeping curves, not anything, and this might even be too sharp for me. I want it to be as less, I want to have the least amount of these, you know, 90 degree angles as possible. So we're going to go through and we're going to clean all this up and I will show you guys what it looks like when we're done with that. And then we're going to sand it and then we're going to get the belt loop put on here. I think this will work just fine. Should cut this on the back side though. Works a little better, I think. As long as we cut it slowly, we'll be all right. And if we're a little off, it's okay. We can. Uh, kind of stretch out that hole a little bit in any direction to, to make it work if we have to. Obviously we don't want to do that if we don't have to, but it happens. So we got that first bend done. You can see that's uh, pretty good to go over our pants. You need a lot more room than you would think, you know, especially jeans to get over those. So I think that's pretty good. Now we just need to fold this up and this is gonna be the bottom of our S hook right here. So we're gonna heat that up. Make sure we don't heat up anything else. That's gonna be a tough, the tough part. So what I'm gonna do, um, try to find some wood, here we go. I'm gonna put this wood in between it so we don't heat up anything else. It's gonna be hard to, uh, to heat with that wood behind it, but that's what we wanna do. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do, is just take the very corner off. We got a little bit of tuck there. It does pull no problem. Goes back in, no problem. Retention is good. And I can actually do this pretty much without looking. All right, so. All right, so this is our inside the waistband holster and it seemed to work out fairly well. And uh, well, to keep with tradition, we have one holster we called the uh, C4, one the RDX, and we're going to call this one the TNT, I guess. Something about tucking, maybe. I don't know. One thing I wanted to mention of what I will probably do with this, just because this is a holster that, you know, getting used, you, you're going for comfort. And honestly, that's, that's more important than how it looks. Anything else is how comfortable it is. So what I am going to do, and something that I really like, is I'll get the, uh, the thin moleskin, not the foamy moleskin necessarily, but the thin stuff, and I might, I'm gonna coat pretty much this entire backside. It'll just give me a softer surface against my skin. This, you know, you're gonna start to sweat where it's up against you, and that will just give it a little bit of a softer texture, a little bit smoother against your skin. And uh, if it starts to get all nasty and stuff, you just peel that off and slap another piece on. So that is my hint for the day for an inside the waistband holster 
is to line the part that touches your skin, line that with some moleskin. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to like and share it. I always appreciate it when you guys do that. And if you are not a subscriber, if you find the bullet down in the, uh, it'll be down in the bottom corner, you can click on that and it'll take you to the subscribe page. And until next time, guys, take care and be safe. Thank you.